word I would like to talk about today is inspired, right? And the reason why I want to talk about the word inspired because one of the kids came to me yesterday, therefore, and they were like, Mr. Mr. Avila, we walk in a rain, plan, right? And what is more inspirational than that for me, right? That, you know, the kids are so willing to learn and are so interested in what I'm providing, the resources that I'm providing for them, that they are willing to walk in the rain and come here, right? And that touched my heart and that know that at least the thing that I'm trying to do, which uh, Mr. Bengote and Mr. Sean talk about in providing these skills for y'all, because it might not be important right now, because my man Dale is still the buy your pants, he's still going to refrigerate the food today, you know what I mean, and, think, and they still buy the food for you. But 10, couple years down the road, when you all got to do all this thing for yourself and your family, you're going to realize that this was an important skill and this was a really beneficial time in your life. Firstly, we have the central processing system, commonly, commonly known as the CPU. The CPU is the brain of the computer. It gives all the commands and does all the calculations. Next is the motherboard. The motherboard is the electrical circuit in a computer. The motherboard, the motherboard allows communication between all components of a computer. Now we have the RAM. RAM stands for Random Access Memory. The RAM is, is short-term storage. This means that, that it holds storage temporarily. On the hard drive, it is responsible for stuff like typing. Everything that enters the RAM will be deleted when you off your laptop. Lastly, we have the hard drive. The hard drive stores all of the files of the computer permanently until deleted. It is long-term storage on my device. I'd like to thank EGTV for coming out and giving us our support. Of course, advertising this and putting this on, on, this, on the media, right, is very important for uh, thank all our sponsors who helped us um, with making this a success. As far as um, how it turned out this year, I'm really inspired, right? Like I said, one of the kids told me that, Miss Avila, I came here in the rain, right, to come and to learn and to listen to what I'm talking about. So that is really inspiring and that really, um, can I ensure that my time is very valuable to these kids, right? And again, as the minister, uh, thank the minister for coming out as well. And he, he talked about some of the opportunities and some of the things that he's trying to bring to Punta Gorda in terms of job creations and stuff. So these kids will be able to do this in 10 years, but as well as bringing this stuff to our community, it is very important. So his vision, along with what I'm doing, um, kind of really um, ensure me that I'm doing the right thing and by providing this tech camp and it was a great success. We had over over 50, sometimes 60 kids here each day um, and I think that was that was, it was well worth the time and I'm looking forward to, to coming back next year. I'm looking forward to PGTV providing the same type of support and all our sponsors um, um, to, to help us to make this campus a success.